Is it too early to start predicting the 2025 Oscars? Yes, the Oscars just happened, but Variety has just gone straight ahead and jumped right into next season, and some of the choices are questionable. But it's early predictions, it's all fun, so today we're going to be taking a look at Variety's incredibly early 2025 Oscar predictions and judging them. So what are your early predictions? If you have any, let us know your thoughts below, but hope you enjoy. So, in this variety article right here he says words you can read it if you want but we're going to just kind of run through it yeah. um i would say about mike lee returning uh that'll be very very fun especially with marion jean batiste coming back with uh, secrets and lies um i did see he's very high on the wild robot which is a dreamworks film i do remember him having that in best picture when i glanced over it earlier okay Okay, I don't know about that. that. Feels like a rogue take. That feels like a rogue take already. Yeah, because that's Fancy also another thing gonna, we need to I've know. I've seen Fancy Dance at Sunday. This article will be yeah. making very bold, provocative claims. Yeah, to get for sure. Talking, so let's not take it too seriously. Sure, sure. Yeah, doing an early prediction on awards expert. I will do that eventually. Um, <laughs> yeah, Fancy Dance will be a thing. Blitz, yeah, will probably be a thing. Hitman, I don't think will be happening. I don't, it's not the kind of thing that yeah. Link Lake gets in Piano right? lesson, maybe, maybe, maybe. The end, I'm really excited about this. This is by um, uh, Josh Oppenheim. Uh, Oppenheimer, o Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. It's, it's, there's, I can't remember if there's an ER at the end. Uh, okay. But anyways, he made that The Act of Killing, which is a brilliant, brilliant movie. Um, one of the, we were just talking about documentaries earlier because uh, you watched Tongues and Tide. That's one it's... of the best documentaries ever. One uh, of the best I've ever seen, yeah. Like yeah, Tongues and Tide, guys. Though. If if you haven't watched Tongues and Tide, excellent movie. Um, yeah, Joshua Oppenheimer. Um, yeah, made the the act of killing the Locust Silence, and then now he has the end. Seems very very interesting. Um, sure, suit your time. Maybe maybe think Gaga might uh make support an actress for Joker. I will talk about Joker. Um, yeah. Hitman is screenplay and Globes actor at best. Agreed, agreed. I, I don't even know if I throw screenplay in there. I mean, maybe maybe it gets Globes actor for him just because he'll have a big year with like Twisters as well. Yeah, and it's comedy, so it's often quite a weak field. Anyway, yeah, I, I, could see that. I could see that. Generally appealing films, and Glenn Powell, as you say, big name. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. 2025 VFX predictions you got to have Dune, Planet of the Apes, and move Fawcett. God, I forgot that they locked Barry oh, Jenkins in that fucking trap this year. I forgot that was coming out this year. Yeah. yeah. That would be interesting. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah, it could be a VFX kind of thing, though. I also got Planet of the, the Apes was coming out. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. Dune's winning, but yeah. 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 Um,. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, Emmanuel, I'm very, very hyped about. Audrey Dewan, love. Um, movie still looking for, yeah, Parthenope, Paulo Sorrentino. Uh, I'm gonna be interesting with Sorrentino. Um, Pablo Lorraine, yeah. Uh, Maria. Uh, I don't know if it has a title. I think it's just called Maria. Megalopolis, right. we'll see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Kind of heard it was a disaster, but we'll see. And then, uh, Queer as well. The, uh, the Luca film, which is he coming out with too? I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, is Joshua Oppenheimer related to J. Robert Oppenheimer? I don't think so. Mm, who knows? I don't think uh, so. Um, I, but, I doubt it, yeah. But. All, also important to note, um, Kind of Kindness, the new Yorgos film, was just announced today. Going to be coming out in June, three months before New Yorgos. Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, I'm personally very hyped for it. If we got to look at it through like an Oscars lens, don't think it'll be much of a thing um just because it's an anthology film and the oscars hate anthology movies so yeah but i think it's a good timing especially since people love poor things people talk about yeah. poor things it was in the discourse recently i think people are craving a new lapmus film fairly soon so i think it's good to sort of release it now which in, in in some and hopefully get a few more eyes on it than perhaps would have been before so for sure for sure and there's a couple other things like uh, that isn't in here at least so far david lowry has a new film which i'm very excited about um, which looks very, very fun. Uh, Bird as well by Andre Arnold. Um, it's going to have Barry Keoghan and uh, Franz Rogowski, Um And it's going to be gay. So obviously going to be great. And Andre yep, Arnold, perfect. excellent filmmaker. Um, so yeah. Okay, let's see what he has here. That's, you know, it's an interesting start. Yeah. It's an interesting start. Okay, Bird, good. He does have it on here. Nice. Yeah, very, yeah, very baby. excited about this movie. Very excited. Uh, Blitz, he has winning. I feel like that's fair. Yeah, Kong that's fair at this stage. And that feels like one of the ones that people are just going for as like, this is going to be the early thing. Usually they drop off and don't end up being the thing, but yeah. who knows, maybe this year will be the first year that I've seen at least where the early one just is the one, but yeah, doubt it. 
No, for sure, for sure. Conclave, this is new Edward Berger film that's coming out. I I still, it's been a year since, like, I, I still t- don't know how to pronounce his name. Is, is it, it Berger, Berger or I'd Berger? I'd go Berger. I'd go Berger? That it's could funnier just be to say Berger. I, yeah, sure. Sure. Um, but no, Ed- Edward Berger. Yeah, it's a new Edward Berger film. Um, it has a decent cast focus. Uh, it makes sense. Barry and friends play a gay couple in Bird. Yes, the fuck they do. Uh, Megalopolis is going to be the hottest 40% <laughs> editing movie of 2024. Yeah, yeah. It could be the Babylon, which might mean that I'll love it. So Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> I'm not sure. Based on how chaos of the production sounded, it just feels quite... Okay. chaotic okay. interesting run here so dune obviously happening the yeah. end i'm really excited about it i'm a very big fan of josh oppenheimer the premise seems very interesting like it feels like this could be the zone of interest this year distributed by neon probably going to go to can um and like it's it's like this dystopian thing that that deals very heavily in like place and like psychology uh, of moving in and out of places where there's nothing uh after the end of the world and it's it's doing a lot of class commentary uh it just it seems like a you know a very neon can bold swing like i know it's distributed by neon so it'll probably win the palm if it goes there because that's just how it works so cool. yeah could yeah. see that being a thing kind of kindness we kind of we kind of already talked about this um i i just it doesn't i don't think it checks out it's obviously we haven't seen the movie, yeah. but I'm, like, I'm not sure. they just they've never gone for anthology films very no. rarely, I should say. Um, uh, say burger unless you pronounce it burger. I think it's pronounced Whopper. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, let's see. Megalopolis. We'll see. We sure we will, will see. We will. We will. That'll definitely be one that will be on a lot of predictions until it's released. And then it's it's that very much if and when. If and when. Yeah. Oh, this is the screenwriter of Conclave has like one well received movie out of seven. I'm skeptical of that as well. Megalopolis. Okay. 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 That's fair. Um, Piano Lesson. Yeah. So this is an August Wilson play. Um, obviously, yeah. it's been very successful with the Oscars, uh, their plays. Uh, but it, it feels like this will just be the big Netflix thing. It's produced by Denzel Washington. It stars John David Washington, Samuel Jackson. Um, I think Daniel Deadweiler's in it. Like, could be big, could be big. Yeah, Clay yeah. not having Sing Sing in his top 10 is the choice. Um, I I think that's the number one right now. I think it makes sense as the number one, uh, especially considering he has a DreamWorks movie that, uh, sure. Yeah, when animated films very rarely get in anyway, yeah. I wouldn't trust a DreamWorks wing to be the next animated yeah, film. Yeah, and also having no A24 <laughs> yeah, in here is a choice. No, I mean, Bird has no US distribution. That feels like it could Maybe be that could be A24, yeah. So, yeah, maybe he's, he's keeping his options open there rather than just picking out an A24 and go, this is the one. Like, I don't know. But I just, I feel like something makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Because like A24, the, were they the only studio to get two last year? Um. Yeah, because Warner um, Brothers yeah, only had one. Yeah. Wait. Apple had one, Netflix had one. I feel like this. Uh, Chat, folks had one, tell us if we're wrong. I feel like A24, because like A24 is on a decent run right now, had uh the you know obviously the dub with everything everywhere um in 2022 and then i think they were they had the most best picture noms uh with with both zone um and past lives jesus christ yep um and yeah, arguably okay. if the iron claw came out and got better <laughs> was it had a better marketing strategy to be fair it might like, have taken out past lives to be fair it might have taken it out might have taken out past lives it might yeah. have taken out past lives but still that was definitely on the bubble and yeah. if it, it, that is the type of film where it, it was released slightly later oh no slightly early slightly sorry earlier. yeah was maybe, there they're, they're, they're putting out sing sing in in july june i think um yeah. so yeah no it, it could definitely be a thing could definitely be a thing um dd can make the list yeah there's i mean there's no focus thing on he, oh conclave so it'll just yeah, be a matter of conclave dd but i i think again dd if anything is gonna be like a joan chen or screenplay maybe both but i think that's this max wild i mean sure uh the apprentice okay so this is the donald trump movie uh where sebastian stan is playing donald trump jeremy jeremy strong is also gonna be in it we'll see that could be like really really bad um <laughs> it could it could but and that we'll is see. my worry for it. either way it's going to be polarizing and yeah. discussed like people it's hate it an, don't look up yeah it could be a sort of don't look up of this year if it gets the right distribution if it gets the eyes on it yeah. which given the concept, it would have to get like a netflix good. with it though 
So. Exactly. It need that is very much dependent on distributor. I so think. yeah, that better one. man I'm not familiar with. We'll look into that one. Emmanuel, that's Audrey Dewan. We'll see. That could be Can Furiosa. I agree. I don't think it'll be a thing. Same I think thing he made a two. good right. Yeah. I think um, those two. Hard truths. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but oh, it's like a street. So no. Uh, <laughs> here, this is the new Zemeckis movie. Uh, it's Zemeckis and Tom Hanks. Um, could be a thing, but okay. this, this um, feels like like prime this had Oscar buzz episode. Yeah, um, maybe. His three daughters heard good things from Tiff. Um, what is Horizon in Americans? Clayton, are you high? I don't, I've never heard of this in my life. But because it's, it's like chapter Kevin, one, it's anyway. like a prequel to like a Kevin Costner thing that came out a couple. I don't know what that is. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, it's an alternate. It's an alternate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Lots of people having low faith in The Apprentice. I, we'll see. I I don't think it's gonna be good, but we'll see. Um, Planet King of Planet of the Apes is just not going to happen. Maria, if the previous two learns couldn't, probably not. Nosferatu. This feels very like the genre. December thing that comes out and flops. Yeah, it feels very, very genre. I don't know yeah. why this would necessarily be the one. Like, maybe you could argue, oh, well, it's based on classic material. There's a lot of reverence for the material, but I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm not convinced. Parthenope, the Sorrentino. I mean, feels like that's just going to get an international arm or something. Queer. We'll see. Uh, yeah. Sing Sing, I feel like that's going to be decently strong. Okay, SNL 1975. I don't know if it'll be an awards thing, but I am excited about this movie. Have you heard anything about this? Not, well, I've heard the name. I don't so, really know anything about it. So, it's a new Jason Reitman movie. Okay. Um, and it is uh, about, like, a like I think it's the people who, like, started SNL in 1975. Like, the oh, group of comedians. Cool. And the that cast is, be, the cast is Gabriel LaBelle, Cooper Hoffman, and Rachel Senna as the three leads. Okay, okay. So, Nicholas That's Braun different. is also in it. Um, who else is in this? Nicholas Braun, Dylan O'Brien, uh, Andrew Barth Feldman, Finn Wolfhard. Like, decent cast. It's a decent cast. Yeah. Um, people are okay. throwing out Wicked. Uh, uh. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I'll be very flop. good. It's a thing. Screams. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's a film that very much, it's a theatre production that very much rides on the music. Yeah. And often, those are not the kind of musicals that really get the oscar buzz um so yeah i'm not sure have you have wait have you seen this theater production i've seen the musical yeah, oh, yeah, yeah okay yeah. did you like i don't no i don't really okay, like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah yeah it's that uh, it's the kind of thing where yeah i'm the the story is not that strong sure so yeah. i'm sure. surprised no one mentioned uh a vault motivars movie i know there's only about to start shooting but uh he makes this uh yeah no i know it's gonna be his first english language film um and it's tilda and k i know i uh, someone remind me of the cast i know there was a bunch of people swirling around there yeah we could probably get tax in no way joker is actually happening no absolutely not i don't think it will be a thing i mean if it's i'm not sure because it has a lower threshold of quality that needs to meet That's i true. think because everyone's going to go and see it because the first joker made a billion and it's still so it doesn't need to be as good as the first one to get in and it doesn't need to be as anywhere near of quality as a lot of other best picture candidates to still get the eyes on it to get a norm so i i'm not ruling out completely i'm not sure. putting it in because i just don't think it will be that brilliant based on things i've seen etc but I, yeah. I i wouldn't rule out i really wouldn't rule it out. i i'd say it's got more of a chance than like gladiator 2 or furiosa right in terms probably. of probably also it's julian moore and tilda julian moore and tilda's written for julian the Pedro cool. movie so We'll see. Also, uh, Materialist, the, the the new Celine song, hasn't been mentioned at all. I know we don't really know much about the cast or anything, but, like, I mean, surely it's got to at least be on the, yeah, on the a, mentions yeah. since you just got one in. So, sure, Pedro Motivar sure. film not even on Letterboxd? Well, I don't know. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's see what he has for a director. Andre Arnold, be sick. Francis Ford Coppola, well, Stephen Queen, Joshua Oppenheimer, and Denis Villeneuve. Uh, with Stephen Queen winning. I mean, I, I don't think it'll be as easy as a McQueen win, probably. Like, I just, I don't think that Blitz is going to be, as you said, like, the early thing that just takes it. I don't think it'll be the knee either. Um, I don't know. If I had to throw out an early director winner, like, I, I, I don't know. This feels like a year where the director winner won't, oh, what's happened to Thomas? Is he here? Wait. <laughs> Pause. Actually, what the fuck? Just leave and come back. Um, 
<laughs> don't know what's just happened. Um, yeah, Steve McQueen. Yeah, Kira, are you familiar with Steve McQueen? Okay, fair, fair, fair. Could the new Inuritu movie with Tom Cruise be a contender? Um, maybe. I don't think that's coming out though. I think I think that's coming out next year. I think that's coming out next year. But yeah, I, I don't. I was just saying. Yeah, I don't. It, it feels like a year where it won't line up. Like whatever the picture winner is. It just, it, it doesn't feel like there'll be crossover, but again, sure. that's pure I mean, I, uh, yeah, exactly. Like, it just, sure. it doesn't feel like Steve McQueen would win another Best Director Oscar for Blitz winning picture, if that were to happen. Or like, Denis isn't um, going to win director. I don't know, Steve McQueen if Blitz, maybe. I could see that. It's been a, it'll be over a decade since he won his I suppose, last one, so. but is he someone that we really, like, we're ready to give a second? Like, I'd be down, I like Steve McQueen, but will the Academy be? Maybe, it would depend, it would depend, because I don't think there's going to be, well, I don't think it's going to be Villeneuve, so it's not going to be a text group like that, yeah, so it's either exactly, going to be. Yeah, But that, in that case, that suggests that it probably would be the highest rated film, which is winning Best Maybe. Picture, which is then going on to win Best Director as well. I Maybe. don't know, I don't know. Be interesting, be interesting, but not too much to say on this category. Not too much to say. Um, actor. Ray okay, so here we get Sing Sing. That's a shout. Here we do get Sing Sing. And for a winner, mm, I'm not sure yeah, about that. I mean, I can see. I, I know. I'm I'm probably leaning Coleman Domingo right now, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Feels like coming off his first nom, yeah, second nom. After yes, Glow, nom. especially if Sing Sing is as big as I think it's going to be. Yeah, I, I could definitely see it. Um... Josh Robin never makes sense as the established tour pick, I guess, but we'll see after can. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, Andrew Garfield lo would love to see that happen. I'm very excited about We Live in Time. I, I think it's John Crowley. It's it's the guy who directed Brooklyn. Uh, it's just like this romantic drama with uh, Andrew Garfield and uh, Florence Pugh. Seems very, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I'm oh, yeah. I'm very here for it. I love Brooklyn. Um, so, yeah, hyped. Uh, John David Washington probably makes sense. Um, unless yeah, that feels a, like acting. Unless it's another Malcolm and Murray. May I don't imagine it will be. I yeah. like it's not Sam Levinson, is it? So <laughs> that's just true. You know, this is true. You know, um, Domingo is unreal in Sing Sing. Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting that you've actually seen Sing Sing. Um, let's see, Austin Butler bike riders probably not. Uh, Driver Megalopolis, Richard Gere, O Canada. Oh yeah, this is a new Paul Schrader movie. Jacob Lurdy's also. Oh yeah, excited okay. about that. Tom Hanks here. Uh, Underhaul and the actor, I guess. Barry Keoghan, Gabriel LaBelle, Parthenope. Gary Oldman's in the Sorrentino movie interesting oh interesting okay is, i mean whacking so is, phoenix is the, is the sorrentino gonna be an english language then maybe that's interesting that would make sense why it's in here yeah as an honor yeah, mention see that. Gary Oldman. okay is there gonna be a lead in kind of kind of i don't know um i question in the end sebastian saying oh yeah a different man i know people saw it at sundance it got like decent reactions nothing special though um probably will just be makeup thing um like uh, I I don't know. The, the reactions weren't like insane for Sebastian Stan, uh, yeah. so I don't I don't necessarily see it happening. But I think it's like a shoe in for a makeup nom, like because yeah, based on pictures and and because like again they don't care Sorry. if if your movie's even that big. Like they nominated Golda last year, right? Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't I don't know. Um, wait, is the Florence and Andrew film from A twenty four? Yeah, yeah, we live in time. Yeah. Um. Uh, do we have a release time for We Live in Time, I Left and Andrew? I don't think we have a release date. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, but I might just have not looked. Actress. Search Ronin in the Outrun. Okay, so, um, <laughs> background. I got confused, like, three years ago uh, when I was looking at Cersei's shoot upcoming filmography, uh, and I saw See How They Run, and uh, The Outrun, and I read what The Outrun was about, and then I got it confused with See How They Run, so before See How They Run came out, I was like, oh, yeah, this is a movie where Cersei Ronan's going to play an, uh, a recovering yeah. alcoholic. Um, Not at all. And then Not we saw all. the trailer. And it was like, mm. where's the alcohol? Where, where's the alcoholism? Uh, and then obviously, yeah. But <laughs> now we're finally seeing it. Um, apparently the movie's pretty mid, but she's like amazing in it. So we'll see. We'll see. I find um, it more likely that she'll get buzzed for Blitz. Um, yeah, over the I should know but... she's lead for Blitz. I mean, it, it could just Either be that way, the outrun yeah. will be good, and then it combines into a nom for Blitz, maybe, like maybe, just yeah, for a year. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. Sebastian Apprentice for actor. Oh yeah, I guess Sebastian Sin wasn't in his list for actor with the Apprentice. Interesting. Uh, okay. yeah, Lady Gaga. We'll see. That's we'll see. only if I don't imagine she'll get in without Joaquin and the film also getting into picture. So yeah, doesn't seem like a very consistent set of noms that Clayton Davis has gone for. 
Yeah. Um, Hard Truths. Oh, that's the... Yeah, I mean, it's Bleecker Street, so probably not, but this is the new Mike Lee movie. I mean... Yeah, okay. Oh, they're Bleak Street. Oof. This is going to be rough. rough. This is going to be an uphill battle. Uh, yeah, Maybe there's... they've learned. Maybe they'll learn from the mistakes of Mass Witch. Times and they had Based challengers. I been. don't know about that. Would love to see it happen. No. Um, Jodie Comer, Bright Riders. Uh, Ryan Disney, Flintstrong. Flintstrong will be an interesting one. Um, this also has uh, Brian Tyree Henry in it. Um, it's a sports... I could see it being big. I don't yeah. know if Ryan Destiny would necessarily come along with it. It feels like it, it's thing giving Kaylee Spaney. It's giving Kaylee Spaney from last year. Sure, where it's the like, lead of the film doesn't come along, but like maybe Brian Tyree Henry, maybe for screenplay Barry Jenkins, like that sure. kind of thing, that kind yeah. of package. Could see it it is a picture. Barry Jenkins, like yeah, we should say it is, it is a Barry Jenkins written screenplay, and it is a sports drama, I believe, about uh, a, a boxer who went to the Olympics from Detroit, yeah, and then Brian Tyree yeah. Henry plays her, uh, her plays her trainer. So like sports boxing drama trainer role for brian tyree henry i could see him getting his second nomination but i just say yeah i i unless it's like earth shatteringly good i ryan mm. destiny doesn't feel like the type of thing that would get no. in no. um wicked i don't think it's getting a single acting nom little got some fancy dance would love to see that happen they're great in the movie don't know angelina jolie should be a lot higher on this list <laughs> um like, maybe that depends on Lorraine gets in Lorraine gets yeah. in though he does usually. He like does. The usually, but like for Larry movies, good. Then. Jackie did better than Spencer. Maybe Maria will do worse than Spencer. I, we just don't know the trajectory I, of, of yeah, him. So I suppose. I maybe Jackie is like his biggest one. Say though that the fact that uh, she's le- like it's it's a less prominent public figure might actually play to the advantage because there will be like less comparison. Uh, in maybe. The maybe. So, yeah. Uh, apparently, according to South by South crowd, uh, South by South West crowd, real experts there, we got a lock in Kirsten Dunst for the masterpiece known as Alex Garland Civil War. It, it sounds, okay, I didn't realize okay, that South by South West was even still going on. Um, right. But, yeah, okay, I don't... Yeah. We'll see, I saw Maybe, Adriano tweeted earlier, like, some of these reactions feel off. They do. they do. Yeah, I'm not sure, but... Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's at least good. Who knows? Jenna Ortega has a movie, I guess. Naomi Merlant, slay, let's go Naomi Merlant! Daisy Ridley, Young Woman in the Sea. Someone called it Disney's Nyad. It's rough. Uh, oh. Emma Stone, kind of kindness, till soon the end. Okay, cool. So we're an actor, Samuel Jackson. Maybe he does finally win a competitive Oscar. Maybe. That would feel right, and it feels like, yeah, if you're going to do it, do it in yeah. one of these films. Like, maybe, maybe. I could see sure. him. I could see him. Tentative about poor things, or not poor things, kind of kindness enough. Uh, Harris Dickinson Blitz, probably, if it's going to getting in, which be nice to see him getting nominated because he's excellent in Triangle. Uh, sadness um another conclave more manuel okay kieran culkin a real pain i could see that happening um if it's in supporting if he goes lead i'm i don't know but if he goes so. supporting we've both seen the movie we were a bit less high on it than other people mm. uh, but yeah, I, I mean his performance it. it's it's very big it's very there it attracted a lot of love and attention so yeah i mean the film is like 90 percent monologues so yeah. there's the, a like lot he's got of clips, clips. He's got clips. yeah not that they'll necessarily do clips next year like they did last year what but... the fuck is this I yeah no we can ignore that one we can ignore that one <laughs> probably excuse hopefully. me I don't know actually maybe excuse thinking, me maybe he's thinking apologies for Logan maybe that he didn't get nominated but like he was he's not it's not happening it's not happening he's gonna be in a comedic role in a Deadpool film no sure sure whatever uh Clarence Macklin I do think could definitely happen also um Paul Rossi uh, who was nominated for Sound mm. of Metal is also supporting role. Uh, and uh, Clarence Macklin is winning. It's my call right now. Fair. Wow. Fair. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, I, I could absolutely see that. I could absolutely see that from everything I've heard about the performance. Um, so yeah, uh, supporting actress Joan Chen. Please would love for this to happen again. I think I can. I think I think if the movie gets enough attention, if focus like campaigns it correctly. Joan Chen has a lot of industry respect. She's she's beloved. She's giving like she has her moment. It makes sense. It makes sense. Kara Clayton Davis made this list. She's like the lead awards editor of Variety, like the biggest awards editor. So, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not convinced on this Joan Chen argument. I just don't know if DD. But we can will make it happen. Thing, we can but... manifest it. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, Sarsha for Blitz. I don't know if she gets a double nom. Uh, no, I think it would be Ellis, Taylor, Nickel Boys, maybe. Daniel Deadweiler. I do think that Daniel Deadweiler will happen. I do think Daniel Deadweiler will happen. Yeah, 
definitely, I think she could also be in contention to win. I think anyone in the yeah. piano lesson, I think all three of them stand a very good shout of getting noms here. Yeah, yeah. Ariana Grande is not going to happen. Um, Carrie Coon, Amy Adams, Claire and the Sun, Moses Ingram, The End, Elizabeth Olsen, Three Daughters, Aubrey Plaza would be fun if that movie is good. Rachel Sennett, God, the day Rachel Sennett gets an Oscar nomination. Yeah, you I don't think it'll be. Shut I the don't think it'll be. It. It's not gonna be for I this year. I don't think it'll be for this. But, but yeah. one day, one day, I'm sure she will. One day. Uh, Naomi Watts, Manuel. Yeah, not too strong of a category thus far. Interesting. No, supporting actress never seems very strong. Yeah. Early on, it always takes a while before any before sort of competitors start yeah. to. Come um. Along. Also, there is no Dune actors in here. I know people are trying to push for Timothy Chalamet for lead or Austin Butler for supporting. I just, I don't think that Dune's going to be happening for acting categories. I really don't. Unless the film was like really, really strong. Like unless the film was still as strong as it is now and there's still enough passion but for even it. even then, it just, it Timothy doesn't feel like that could, type of film to me. Timothy could, just Maybe. based on the Ray performance and who he is. I don't think anyone else is like Zen Day is not happening or anyone no. else is happening. I think Timothy is the only one. And it would depend on the strength of June rather than the strength of performance Probably. itself. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, screenplay, Bird, Blitz, The End, Can I Get Real Pain? I mean, I could see a real pain happening. Like, and screenplay, yeah, this, yeah definitely. It's, it's a very righty script. It just depends on how Searchlight handles it. Kind of, kind of, it just won't. Um, also, this is going to be the first Yorgos film without um, God, what's the name of his writer? Tony McNamara. Thank you, yeah. Um... It's, uh, yeah, so I think it's first since before The Lobster, even, like, it's been a while. It might, might be The Lobster, if not, it's the one right before The, uh, the Lobster. Okay. Um, Javier Bardem, Hive, Rise Up, that's not, calm down. Yeah. You can rise up and then calm down, like, next week. Uh, <laughs> um, Didi would love for that to happen. Sean Wang, already an Oscar nominee, by the way, already an Oscar nominee. I mean, Indeed. you gotta throw Barry Jenkins in here with Flint Strong, Mike Lee, yeah. Um, anything else that's that interesting? Reitman could happen. I could see this happening. Yeah, especially this could just be a lone screenplay alone kind screenplay of thing, for sure. maybe. So, yeah, I yeah, think all of those are... Kneecap? Really? Kneecap was... Okay, a lot of people like Kneecap. I a lot of people did like it. Awful. People did like it, though. People I thought it was like terrible, it. but I know a lot of people really liked it. Sean Lang wins screenplay, even though... Uh, no, it's not going to be a win. It's absolutely not going to be a win. Maybe, maybe nomination if lucky. Yorgos uh, yeah. wrote The Lobster and got a screenplay number for that. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Adapted... Conclave, Nickel Boys, Piano Lesson, Sing Sing, uh, and The Wild Robot. We're throwing in the anime thing again, okay? So we can discard yeah. that. I, and I Nickel do... Boys for the win he's going for? Mm, to sure shout, about considering that. you don't have it nominated sure literally fucking anywhere else. Yep, yep. Uh, okay. Except for actress, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like, he, he didn't even... What, what was the thing? I feel like we're just sitting on Clayton Davis. I'm sure he's, like, a nice guy. I've heard very good things about him as a person. Um, But I what was the thing last year? I think he had... Maestro getting into picture, Bradley winning director, Carrie Mulligan winning actress. Oh and yeah, Bradley and Cooper and not getting, getting nominated for best actor. Yeah, yeah, you thought the the passion would funnel from in director. That was yeah. I mean, listen, show. you know, cool. it's early predictions. We, we're having fun with yeah. it. These don't actually matter, but no. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh god, I thought those things will end. How will wrote Joker Folly do? And I was really confused for a second. Okay. Got to read my semicolons correctly. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is probably fine. I, I do. I do agree with the call of Doom Part Two missing though. Yeah, it depends on. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> put the Wild Robot in over Doom. Yeah, I mean, Ro <laughs> Wild Robot wouldn't be the one. But I think if we're at a stage where we've got like the four fine, if they're all good, and then yeah. I would say June. This could be a thing. Be, but... Written by Eric Roth, Robert Zemeckis here. So like, but what I've heard is that it's like. It seems vaguely interesting. It's based on a graphic novel, uh, and it's about like, like it all taking place in like this one space, and it's uh, Tom Hanks and Robin Wright, so reuniting Forrest Gump crew, and like it's just like over like you know centuries of time, and then they're playing like different characters over like multiple years. It seems okay. vaguely interesting. Yeah, it seems it doesn't sound oscar accessible though no <laughs> really. no i mean or, or they'll just make it very oscar accessible maybe maybe so we'll see we'll see we'll see um cool let's see let's see let's see do we want to go through these other i mean we can 
Take um, a look at, we don't have to go through text, but we'll look at like animated doc international probably. Sure. I don't think it's necessary to go through text. Uh, no, animated no. inside out to, oh, I forgot that the Lord of the Rings movie was happening. Yeah. The anime one. Yeah. I'm not sold on the, the premise, but maybe, yeah. maybe. I don't know what Marcel Pagano is. I mean, I don't know. He's confident in wild robot. I respect the swing. I, cool. I, I respect the swing. Uh, let's see the imaginary Moana. If I, <laughs> I mean, I'd be here yeah. for it. Getting an anime just because it'd be funny. Not yeah, sure. I don't know. But... It's not going to be good. I have no even though Barry Jenkins is attached. I have no hope. Whatsoever. I mean, uh, honestly, this will probably just default to Inside Out 2 because there's nothing that looks, like, actually interesting. Unless Inside Out 2 is bad, which I could see based on... The marketing is not selling me on that film, and I really love the first Inside Out. I really love Pixar. I think it's Pixar's best I'm not film. sure. I'm... I'm it says up there. It's up there. Yeah, but this is... the marketing However, is not I would ever is going to be voicing it, which did unironically make me more excited, so... Okay, yeah. But yeah, it just, it just after after two years of being Disney free, it looks like we're just going to default back. Potentially, potentially, it is impressive that they lasted two years without relapsing. Um. Oh, are we just doing text here? I suppose we're just uh, doing text. Uh, production and cinematography. I mean, these are just all obviously going to be like Dune over and over again. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Beetlejuice two for costumes, I suppose. Maybe. Are you? Hmm. It's a choice. Yeah, yeah. And at this stage, you got to respect the choice. You got you to gotta respect the choice. Um, here, uh, just to shout out, why is it not even on here? You had it on earlier. A different man. It's going to get nominated. Oh, right. yes, maybe. Sound, sure. VFX. I don't know what Tuesday is, but sure. Uh, original score. What a sh- Yeah. Sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Original, okay, this possible song, possible song, possible song, possible song. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whatever. I mean, in fairness, that's what we were still doing until like June. Yeah, so yeah, that's fair. Okay, Doc, there's a bit of original song. Daughters. Okay, okay, yeah, Daughters, my favorite movie from Sundance. Absolutely excellent documentary filmmaking. Um, stunning, made me cry. It's it's so good. It's it's genuinely one of the best docs. Like so far this decade it might be my favorite doc of the wow. 2020 so far it is wow amazing um so we'd love to see that happen it's netflix yeah uh okay the superman the christian Reeves story thing not happening guys it how many times like do we have to Sydney. go over this yeah if it's a documentary about a famous person it does not happen it doesn't mm. like yeah they never go for shit like that they didn't do michael j fox this year right no. they didn't do senior the year before they didn't do sydney they they don't do any of these if it is a it, like they just they don't go for that so no, no. and especially warner bros it feels like it'll be just a safe talking heads kind of thing it's not gonna yeah it's not it's not no absolutely not i mean sugarcane i saw at sundance very good would be very deserved nomination i mean we got to look at sundance we we, yeah. we gotta we gotta look at sundance here um they they get at least three every single year yeah um so yeah uh will and harper was sundance uh, it's about like uh, Will Ferrell and then his uh, best friend, who's like a trans woman, just going on a road trip. Okay. And it just seems very vibey and fun. Uh, and it just like I think it goes into like the trans experience and stuff like that. And like I don't know, it's, it seems it seems good. Um, international. Oh, okay. This was good. Okay, I'd love to see Brief History of a Family because yeah, yeah. that was one of my favorites in Sundance, if not my favorite that I saw there. So yeah, I know you're. We'll like, be very happy. Um, very happy. Girls will be girls is also very good. Uh, yes, Sundance. that was another one that that should be in consideration. Um, but yeah, Emmanuel Audrey Duan makes sense. Um, oh, Rodrigo Prado's directing. Okay. That's interesting. That's interesting, and I'm assuming that the the Paolo Sorrentino is English. Then is English now? If it's yeah. not, yeah. If it's um, still Gary Oldman, Crossing the and Yeah. Okay. Fair. 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 Sure. Okay. Well. Okay, that Those is are Variety's predictions. I mean, it's at least... It's at least something. What was the third doc from Sundance to get this year? Eternal Memory, Four Daughters. What was nominated? Bobby Wine wasn't. What were the other was ones? To Kill a Tiger? Oh, well, Mary Paul was. Oh, Mary, Mary Paul was, was okay. Yeah, to, so To Kill a Tiger and Bobby Wine weren't, but Eternal Memory, Four Daughters, and Mary Paul were all Sundance. Cool. So, uh, and I saw all of them. No, I saw Eternal Memory and... Uh, um, 
uh, Mary Paul Sundance, not Four Daughters. That one was Indie Spirit Screeners. But yeah. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, that's it for, for Variety. Again, it's early predictions. We can just have fun with them. We'll probably be doing ours uh, not this weekend, but next weekend. Next weekend. Yes, um, indeed. We'll, we'll do ours live. So it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Yeah.